Well, people in jails and detention centers across the state will have an opportunity to vote in person this year thanks to a new law. Yeah, Fox 31 political reporter Gabrielle Franklin joining us now to explain how it could work and what it might look like. Gabrielle. Yeah, well, Jeremy, people serving time for misdemeanors have had the right to vote here in Colorado, but for the first time this year, many of them will be able to do so in person at the facilities where they're serving that time. Well, when you survey the folks that are found within jails, what they tell you is that they're also really excited to vote. They vote at really similar rates as other Coloradans when they're outside of jail. But when they're in jail, they're only voting at a small fraction of the rates that they otherwise would be. State Representative Manny Rutineau was a House sponsor of a new law that allows jails and detention centers across the state to set up voting centers for all who are eligible. In Colorado, just because you're in jail doesn't mean that you have a felony. Uh, you could be scheduled for a hearing, you could be serving your term for a misdemeanor, and in both of those cases, you have the constitutional right to be able to vote. Of course, it's essential for us to be able to allow those people to exercise that constitutional right to vote. Each of these individuals that would have this same ability out in the community, it's extremely important for us to be able to provide that to them while they're in the facility. Lindsay Lowry with the Adams County Detention Center says they've facilitated mail-in voting for detainees for years, but they are ready to set up in-person voting for the first time this year. We had to assess the facility to find the best location, and so we determined that our library would be a great location for this process to take place. The individuals are going to be coming down to the library. We have uh, deputies that will be assigned for that particular duty post that day and well each day actually and they will come down to the library and facilitate the escorting back and forth. Yeah, so leaders here at the Adams County Detention Center say that they set up early voting registration last week just so that they can get that process going for everyone who's interested in participating. They say that they've seen so much interest they've set aside an additional two days for voting for everyone who wants to take part in it. Reporting live in Brighton, Gabrielle Franklin, Fox 31.